So finally, in our series on refraction, we arrive at astigmatism and presbyopia. This unit of PPT will have those areas and also certain broad and common points on refraction. So we have already touched upon astigmatism before. Now we'll once again see it. The corneal surface, the corneal surface is not a smooth surface. It has a vertical curvature and a horizontal curvature. Because the light strikes these two curvatures, it creates a mismatch of images. It, it creates, if you see, two images. Can you see one image here, one image here, like that it creates two images. Or it will be one image in front, one image behind, one image on the retina, one image in front, like that. It can create varied, varied uh, uh, combinations of and permutations, okay? And this is called astigmatism. It's mainly because of the corneal curvature, corneal curvature. And it can certain times becomes very irregular. Like uh, if there is a corneal scar, presume there is a corneal scar, or presume there is a corneal uh, old injury which uh, had been sutured. Um, these will create profound irregular astigmatism, and this will create not necessarily two images. It might create multiple images also, multiple images also. So this kind of astigmatism creates a lot of difficulty for the patient and uh, they will usually come to you for asthenopia headache asthenopia headache and blurred vision and uh, when you notice usually you will have corneal astigmatism but there can be also astigmatism because of the retina and lens the the curvatures of these structures which are also curved no retina is also curved lens also is curved that might even be wrong but uh, nine out of ten times it is the cornea which is wrong okay so if you if you notice astigmatism, we usually divide them as with the rule astigmatism and against the rule astigmatism. With the rule means the vertical curvature, the vertical curvature of the cornea, the vertical curvature of the cornea is less or steep, more steep than the horizontal curvature, which is more. See, horizontal curvature by number is more, vertical curvature by number is less. But in fact, the vertical curvature is more steep and the horizontal curvature is more flat, more flat, okay? Remember like uh, you are uh, having a, you are having a stick which you have bent. You bend it more, it will become shorter, yes or no? That kind of motion like uh, the vertical curvature will be flatter and the horizontal curvature will be shorter or more convex so here the patient will have a minus cylinder minus cylinder at 180 if they have a minus cylinder at 180 then that is called with the rule astigmatism remember so you go and check your spectacle power in your spectacle power if they have written cylinders as minus cylinder and the nearby axis they have mentioned as 180 degree then you are with the rule and vice versa is uh, against the rule like if you have a plus at 180 if you have a plus at 180 it is against the rule okay remember it like that remember it like that okay and there is also uh, uh, a nice to know point like what is, they'll ask you, what is myopic astigmatism? What is simple myopic astigmatism? Simple myopic means one image in front, one image on the retina. This is simple myopic. There is a compound myopic where two images, are, both the images are in front of the retina. This is compound myopic. Similarly, simple hyperopic is where one image is on the retina, one image is behind the retina. Compound hyperopic is where both the images are behind the retina. Can you see both the images are behind the retina? Similarly, there is mixed astigmatism where one image is in front and one image is behind. One image in front, one image behind. This is compound hyperopic. So you have a simple myopic astigmatism, simple compound myopic astigmatism, simple hyperopic astigmatism, compound hyperopic astigmatism and mixed astigmatism. We'll just check once. What is compound myopic astigmatism? Com any astigmatism means two images. Compound myopic means both are in front of the retina. Compound hyperopic, both are behind the retina. Mixed, one front, one behind the retina. Simple myopic is one on the retina and one in front of the retina. Simple hyperopic is one on the retina and one behind the retina. Okay, so this is the various types of astigmatism. 
So to assess astigmatism, we have certain special equipments like Jackson crossed cylinder. Remember this. Jackson's crossed cylinder is an instrument which is used to assess astigmatism. Likewise, Placido's disc. Remember, Placido's disc. This is also used to assess astigmatism. Can you see? Can you see this cornea is smoothly curved? Okay. But see this cornea, it is almost conical. Yes or no? Keratoconus. Keratoconus. We will study about a refractive error called keratoconus in cornea, where we will understand that the eye is highly myopic and with irregular astigmatism. This is because of this chronical protrusion. So what do you do here? You will give cylindrical lenses. You, we discussed no minus lenses plus lenses. Likewise, here it is cylindrical lenses. How will you recognize that a lens is cylindrical? They will write an axis nearby. If they write an axis nearby a lens, it is a cylindrical lens. It can be a minus cylinder or a plus cylinder. But uh, usually there will be an axis written nearby it. That axis can be um, with the um, 90 degree or 180 degree. And what surgical treatment is done for astigmatism? You will do LASIK. You can do astigmatic LASIK or astigmatic keratotomy. Okay, astigmatic LASIK or astigmatic keratotomy. If there is a very, very severe astigmatism, then you use special contact lenses. Special contact lenses are used. Okay, remember that special contact lenses is used. Keratoconus, we use the rigid contact lenses. Rigid contact lenses we use in keratoconus or piggyback contact lenses or rose contact lenses. These are special contact lenses used in uh, uh, severe astigmatism of keratoconus. Certain times the astigmatism is so severe, you are, you are forced to do a keratoplasty. Penetrating keratoplasty is done in a case of severe astigmatism. The next refractive error is presbyopia. We already discussed this. Anybody above 40 years, anybody above 40 years loses their accommodative power and so they need some amount of reading glasses. Can you see plus one will be a reading glass. Where is that plus one? It is in this portion of the spectacle. It is in this near portion of the spectacle. Okay, near portion of the spectacle. The distance portion of the spectacle will not have that. That is why these kind of spectacles are called the bifocal lenses, bifocal lenses or the progressive lenses. Similarly, 45 to 50 is 1.5, 50 to 55 is plus 2, 55 to 60 is plus 2.5. Like that, like uh, we have one diopter, 1.5 diopter, 2 diopter, 2.5 diopter, like that we have for particular age. Like if I say like plus, uh, a person with 50 years of age, what uh, presbyopic uh, addition lens they will need. They will need an addition lens. These lenses are called addition lenses, add lenses. They will always be plus. Addition lenses will always be plus. Remember that, it will always be plus. And uh, the power will be like plus two for 50 years. Like that, the stable you remember. So what is happening? Then the person when he is seeing distance, when he is seeing distance, he is seeing normally. When he is seeing distance, he is seeing normally. But when he is seeing near, when he is seeing near objects, when he is seeing a distant object, he is seeing normally. But when he is seeing a near object, he has a, a focusing or behind the retina, focusing behind the retina. That is presbyopia. It is corrected with bifocal or multifocal lenses, which are plus addition lenses. Okay. So this is the total story of refraction. We have gone through the basics of refraction. Then we focused on what are the instrumentation and equipments needed and what is the investigations we do in refraction. Like we understood what is a pinhole, what is retinoscopy, what is an auto refractometer, what is a placido's disc, what is a Jackson cross cylinder, what is a plus lens, what is a minus lens, what is a cylindrical lens like that. Uh, uh, we, we went through the whole gamut of refractive errors and finally we closed down with the presbyopia where we use multifocal lenses or bifocal lenses. Please revise all these portions very promptly so that you take uh, those imp imprints of those uh, knowledge is there in your brain so that you can use it whenever it's wanted. Thank you.